It's funny because you, you learn something new every, every time. I, I never knew what paid the piper actually meant. You'd always <laughs> heard the term. So when I was standing up here when we first got here and I saw this woman come by with a tray of shooters, I was pretty excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> but she went right past. <laughs> so I learned what paid the piper was. Um, so anyways, thank you, uh, thank you very much. Thanks to uh, Rick Brownlee and the Hall of Fame Selection Committee. Uh, this is uh, truly an honor. And it really let me start by saying how, how really honored I am to be here today. Not only to be in the amazing company of my fellow inductees, but when you look at the program and you, you read those names of, of people who've been inducted in the past, and it's amazing to be included on the same list of those people who've, who've inspired me throughout my career. And it, it really is truly amazing. Like many athletes, I dreamed one day of being able to represent my country on the world stage to be at the top of the medal podium, wearing the Canadian uniform, and singing O Canada with that lump in your throat. But I was truly blessed to be given the opportunity to achieve that dream and many more. Although I stood by myself at the start line on the track, it was the support of so many that got me to the finish line. First, I'd like to thank my mom for always being there and supporting me in my dreams, and especially for being able to be here with me today. And although my dad isn't with us here today, I know he's looking down with a heart full of pride. So thank you, Dad. I was the youngest of six kids, so I always had a lot of support on the family front. Um, but I want to thank my brothers and sisters, and my sister Cindy, my brother Justin, Sin sister Val, and my in-laws Willow and Rick are here today. And I really thank you for supporting me always in my track career, and especially for being here today. This really, really means a lot to me. And although I can't thank them all by name, I would not have had a career on the track for as long as I did if it wasn't for the amazing medical personnel and folks like Dr. Glenn Bergeron that really seemed to work miracles to keep you on the track for that many years. I'd like to thank Glenn Dawkins. I don't know if many of the media uh, guys are here, but Glenn Dawkins and Scott Taylor, who always wrote really great articles about track and about me, and I, I want to thank them for that, except for maybe that one article that, that Scott wrote when I returned from World Championships, and there was a headline in the free press that said, Winnipeg runner eyes Atlanta as she gets fat for a week. <laughs> thank, thanks, Scott. Thanks. And then there's Rick Chapman, he was an Aussie, I don't know why he came to Canada, but an Aussie who came back to Canada and he worked for the Manitoban at the university. And he dubbed me the Prairie Princess. And every single article in the Manitoban talked about the Prairie Princess. Never lived that one down either. Uh, I wanna thank all my coaches, from, from high school to university to the national team. Thanks to Claude Berube, who coached me through my success in the 800 meters and inviting me to, uh, back to coach at the University of Manitoba when I returned from Australia. But of course, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for my longtime coach, Alec Gardner. <laughs> Thank you, Alex, for your knowledge and expertise, for being there through the good and the bad, and for remaining a friend long past my competitive career, which means so much to me. You put your heart and your soul, and probably a fair bit of your money, into helping me achieve my dreams, and I truly am grateful. Thank you, Al. <laughs> and transitioning from being an international level athlete to the real world after an injury is really tough. So, you know, I wanna give a shout out and a thank you to, to Mike Moore and Randy Anderson, who I know is here, who gave me the opportunity to transition from being an athlete working in the international sport field to working in the international sport field at the Pan Am Games, which then led me to working at the Olympics in Australia in 2000, where I was fortunate enough to meet my future husband, Grant. And although I didn't get to share my competitive career days with Grant and our beautiful kids, Caitlin and Luke, who are here tonight with us. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> I'd like to thank them for their support through my years of coaching and for keeping our family in sport, involved in sport today. 
I'm so happy that you're here to celebrate this honour with me. And you may have read in the program, in January, we're going to be leaving Canada and moving back to Australia. And although it's really hard for me to leave Winnipeg and the people that are so special to me, and in things like this, when so many people are there supporting sport and supporting all of us athletes here in Manitoba, I really, I can only hope that our kids will get to experience the same opportunities and amazing support in pursuing their dreams as I had in mine. Thank you.